opposite directions. So those are opposite rays. Okay, let's do example two and get this thing done. <clears throat> example two, and this is all that you have. Um, this is getting you ready for your guided practice, for example two. So give an, another name for segment. There's no arrowheads on there, so segment GH. So here is G, here is A. You want another name for segment GH. Now notice here uh, point J. This is a point. Doesn't does not have a big black dot, but it is the intersection of those two lines. So we could use that point. But wait a second. When I'm talking about a line segment, each of the points um, used to label a line segment segment have to be the endpoints. So G H. That's segment G H. I'm not looking at the going beyond that. Just between G and H. So what's the other option? What's another name for that same segment? Well, remember the order does not matter. So we could say segment HG. That would also work. And that's what they say down here. Another name for segment GH is segment HG. Name all the rays with endpoint J. Here is a uh, endpoint J. And let me name all the rays. So we have a ray going off in this direction. That would be ray JE going off in this direction. Remember ray EJ would start at E and go through J. That does not have an endpoint of J. So ray JE does. Also ray JG and ray JF and ray JH. And in fact you remember that uh, what we just learned that ray JE, JE going off in this direction to the left is an opposite ray with ray JF going off in this direction to the the right. And that's what they say here. In fact, that was the next question that they asked. Okay, so you are now ready for guided practice for example two. Everything in here, you have that in your notes. So what you do now is you pause the video and you do those two problems on your own and try something. Don't say, oh, this is too difficult. If it's difficult, go back to your book, read the book, or uh, watch the video. This little portion of the video again, back it up and watch that again. So go ahead and pause the video. And remember that you are responding to class. I will look at your notes and if you don't have any, anything filled in, then you will not get full credit for doing your homework. Intersections, let's keep on here. Intersections, two or more geometric figures intersect. And here it is, I do have that in your notes. Two or more geometric figures intersect if they have one or more points in common. Intersection of the figures is the set of points the figures have in common. Okay, so let's look at some examples here. And so here are, uh, here's line and line in and they intersect at point A. So A is the intersection. Think of it as two roads going together and what is that place where the two roads uh, cross each other? That's called the intersection. The intersection of two lines. In this case though I have the intersection of two planes. So here is a plane and another plane comes through it and intersects. Let me see if I can show this to you. So if I had, probably should have Let's do it like this, huh? So you can kind of see. If I had two, I might just make it more of a mess of things here. So if I had two planes that intersected, notice that this line is the uh, the intersection of these two planes. So when I had two lines that intersect, it created an intersection point. When I have two planes that intersect, it creates a line of intersection between those two, two planes. Example three, sketch the intersections of lines and planes. So sketch the plane and a line that is in the plane. So here's a plane. We normally do it like a parallelogram, slant it off to the side like this, is uh, what we use to represent a plane. And then here is a line that is on that plane. 
here is a line that's not on the plane, so we can assume that this plane, I don't know, it goes underneath the line. So here's your, here's your plane, and then there's a line that shoots on top of that. So they're not, um, this line is not on the same plane. And then notice how we do a line that goes through a plane. So this would be, I'm going to do this here, um, kind of like this. And then here's your line. And in this case, you cannot see behind the plane. So what we do is we draw a dashed uh, line for the place that's behind uh, the plane. So this is a line that is intersecting through uh, the plane. We can see the front of it, but the back of it we cannot see. So we make that uh, dash. Example four, sketch two planes that intersect in a line. So, and this is not easy. You gotta do one um, parallelogram and then a, in this case they did a square uh, there and then make the back side the part that if this was solid you would not be able to see so make that dashed behind that that's pretty hard uh, to do but uh, it's very very important for us to be again thinking three-dimensional and geometric uh, in this way so now you are ready for guided practice for examples three and four they do have number four here I did not include that in your notes that's fine so you can skip over that but I did include uh, five six and seven so it's your responsibility to do those uh, three and have that ready for us in class when you come in